Welcome to Welcome to our double decker bus. If you didn't know that we have a double decker bus in the UK, it is a very, very long story. Way back if you were watching Louis' channel, how many years ago? Six years ago? Yeah, that's how long we've had this, but it's been a roller coaster. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly recap and let you know what's going on. But for the last two weeks, I've barely slept because I've been renovating, getting this bus ready. I'm gonna show you a full length breakdown on my channel. So if you wanna check that out, Go ahead, but I'll give you a very brief history for those that don't know we had a double decker bus. So, probably 10 years ago, I got this bus. It sat in storage for about four or five years, and then five or six years ago, I decided I wanted to do a full renovation. Unfortunately, the conversion and whole project spiraled out of control ended up costing obscene amounts of money and taking ages and it was definitely uh, a big financial blow. Although at the time it was the peak of my earnings on YouTube, it still uh, wasn't the wisest investment. And uh, for years now it's been sitting unused because we were traveling, living in LA, going to Costa Rica now. I wanted to use it as an events bus and have it as a potential space to live on as well but I couldn't figure out a way to make any of the money back that I spent on it. So, it's been just at the back of my mind, like I got to figure out a plan for the Double Decker bus. Also, originally it wasn't converted to be lived in. So I think if it was, then we could have like, oh yeah, we should have rented out or something. Mm. But that was never, it never looked like this. So it was kind of supposed to be an event space and obviously lockdown happened, events weren't happening. It was just a lot that didn't work out according to plan, basically. Yeah, and I was gonna like ship it to the US and we were gonna do something there and then we left the US. <laughs> uh, but if you wanna hear more, I'm gonna go into way more in depth on my channel. The start of this summer, it was my main project to get this bus up and running and figure out a plan. Because also you were paying for it to be in storage was, all yeah, these years. Yeah, still paying for it to be in storage. <laughs> yeah. So the plan was get it out of storage, find a purpose for it, and amazingly, I've teamed up with my friend. We found this incredible spot on this farm, mm -hmm. and we are gonna be renting this bus out for you guys to come stay on. It's unbelievable. Like the location is mind blowing. Couldn't be better. We're gonna show you where we are. Yeah. And then later on, we're gonna give you a full tour of the bus, show you all the new features, show you some surprise things upstairs. But I couldn't be happier and I'm just, this is years in the making and yeah. I'm just so excited that we get to launch it. Mm -hmm. And also, hopefully, you guys are excited as well. This is something mm -hmm. that you can be involved with. Mm -hmm. If you live in the south of England or visit or you're coming from abroad, this is only about an hour outside of London and about 30 minutes northeast of Brighton. And it's just breathtaking. Yeah, amazing. We got here yesterday, but we've just been finishing off the bus like nonstop. I haven't even been outside to explore. I've just been looking at the insane view. Mm -hmm. And there's so much to do here where we're parked. So I think we're gonna go and try to enjoy it for a little bit. And then we'll yeah. give you guys a full tour. We'll be back later to properly show you around. I can't wait for you to see it. But first, <sighs> let's go explore. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Raya hasn't seen. Anything, I've just been cleaning <laughs> the bus. <laughs> she hasn't seen much of this place yet. Yeah. So I'm gonna take her on a little tour. Go through this gate. Oh my gosh, are you serious? How cute is this? And then in the spring, all of this forest floor is bluebells. I feel like I'm most excited about the fact that we have an amazing nature getaway to go to unless it's like fully booked out. <laughs> but maybe we can block out certain dates that we can come and just relax and like unwind. This is just perfect. This is where there's some wallabies. I don't know if I've ever seen a wallaby before. Maybe when we were in Australia, but I don't remember. What? Wait, are they always white? No, these are albino wallabies. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's a little kangaroo. Oh, they're all napping. I guess it's like middle of the day. Oh yeah, there's a brown one over there. So the deal is on this farm, there's a bunch of paid activities. There's some crazy golf, which we might do later on. Mm -hmm. There's a maze right now in the cornfield, which is gonna be around 
for a, a few months of the year and there's an amazing nature trail that we just walked through a little section of and there's just a bunch of cool things there's an it's most famous for its ice cream shop which we're going to go and check out now maybe get a little vegan ice cream or sorbet and there's a cafe too right yeah and there's a campsite if you wanted to come down and just pitch a tent it's also available and there's like caravan parking too if you have a van or something so cool it's just perfect <laughs> perfect Right, we got some smoothies whilst we're waiting for the ice cream queue to die down. It's uh, pretty popular. I got a mixed fruit smoothie. What did you get in your smoothie? Like a melon strawberry one. It's really good. Nice. I just love that there's a cafe right near the bus, so if you don't want to cook or something, or if you just want to come and like get some scones and coffee or something, I just love that it's an option. It's great. So this morning I got up early and I was painting the outside of the bus just to clean it up a bit. I'll look at my fingers. So bad. <laughs> we got the goods. We got, was it forest berry? Forest fruits. Forest fruit and raspberry sorbet. And we double checked it's dairy free. I don't know how it's so light colored. I think maybe they do soy milk. And they said they're getting some vegan flavors soon. Oh yeah, soon. we got an inside scoop, pun intended, that there's lots of new vegan flavors coming, so I'm very excited to come back. Taste test of the sorbet. Mm. I don't think it's sorbet because it's soy milky vegan ice cream basically. So good. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely got, it's not just it's fruit and creamy, ice. Yeah. It's delicious though. Mm, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So there's a bunch of different activities here. We're trying to decide whether to do the crazy golf or the cornfield maze. We can't do both today because apparently the cornfield maze can take up to two hours. Okay, so we made the executive decision to just do crazy golf. What do we call this in America? S putts, crazy, Why isn't it called I crazy golf? <laughs> no, it's crazy golf in the UK. Anyway, it's something else in America. I'm sure all the American viewers right now are like screaming at the screen, but anyway. We're doing this today, but there's two other things you can do. So they have a sunflower patch where you can pick your own sunflowers, and then the maze, which <laughs> I was gonna suggest that we like time each other and be like, who's gonna go through faster? But it's two hours long. Look at how intricate it is. It's incredible. So we'll do that another time. And when I came and parked the bus here the other day, the farmer was telling me that in order to make the maze, rather than have a full cornfield and then had to cut the corn. They actually planted it with a machine that knew where to plant the corn seeds and left gaps for the maize. It's like programmed by a computer. Super high tech, amazing. Raya is up first. I, like that's I think much. we both got seven. Oh, just warming up, just warming up. <laughs> this one's super cool. You can go up here and through the water. Yay! Raya hit her ball in the lake. Oh, oh nice. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh. a little frustrated because she is more competitive than me. Oh, 11. That was just, no, that was my first one. Excuse me, I think that's cheating. The 
wallaby pens just over here and they've started waking up. So there's the little albino squad over there. And then, oh, that one's hopping. I think I can do it in one. Okay. You did it first go. Oh. Where did it go? It's gone. What the heck? Okay, let's count up the scoreboards. Anyone's game. Raya has got 78. Which is not great. I got 95. So you beat so me I by win. 27. Is that right? No, 17. 17. No, 18. Eight, we're bad at maths. They've already closed off the maze because they don't want people to get lost and it gets dark and stuff. But you can see how high the corn is. I can't believe it could take two hours. I've never even heard of a maze that big before. That's probably if you get lost. <laughs> Maybe. So this was actually a wedding venue until recently and it's so stunning. It's funny, when we were looking for our venue, we did like a little UK celebration for our wedding and I said, I want a willow tree in a pond. We didn't find that, where we found was beautiful, but this, I think this is exactly what I was envisioning. Oh, it's just unbelievable. So as we were looking for somewhere to park the bus, we knew we wanted to be like a nature getaway and I don't think we could have picked anything better because we're ready to see this view. Oh my gosh, it's like rolling hills. It goes all the way around. It's huge, like this massive field you can go walking on. There's like families and people walk their dogs here. And then this pond with a willow tree and full of fish. Oh my gosh, it's just unbelievable. Okay, we're back on the bus. And it's time for a proper tour. So let's start in the front. This is the driver's seat. And this is just like a fun spot people can take photos. Obviously, we're not going to leave the keys in here. So a lot of people yeah, have been walking don't, past. And please asking, don't drive our bus off. Yeah, people have been asking like, oh, are people going to get to drive it if they're renting? We're like, uh, no, that would be so bad. Over here, we have a microwave slash toaster oven kind of thing. And then it's just like everything you need in a kitchen, really. I've This is where I spent most of my time yesterday. I labeled everything with all these like really nice handmade labels and this sink is amazing again if you have lived in a vehicle I feel like this is like a very luxury glamping kind of experience of staying in a vehicle because obviously you have running water hot water too like really hot water and you got this really nice induction hob which Louie installed yesterday if you don't know what an induction hob is it's basically electromagnetically heats the pan so once you've taken it off, it quite quickly turns yeah. off and goes cold. So it's mm -hmm. a super safe option. And obviously then you won't have any gas leaks or anything because yeah. there was a gas hub before, but this is way safer. We've tried to give like the basic things people would need, olive oil, salt and pepper, um, all the different kind of cutlery things and pots and pans. <laughs> we went shopping and we were like just trying to remember everything. So if you can think of something, if you've stayed in Airbnbs or different rentals and there's something missing, please let us know because we might be forgetting something. The thing for us is we always want a, what's it called? HDMI cable? Yes. So that we can connect our laptops to a TV and like watch our shows or whatever. So we've put that in here for you guys to watch whatever you'd like on that huge TV back there. But first let's finish in the kitchen. We've got tea and sugar. This is a very fancy coffee machine that <laughs> Louie insisted on. We've got a cute little lantern, like a globe over here. And yeah, I want it to feel like a fun cabiny adventure experience. We've got one of these fancy trash cans that we're gonna have like composting and recycling. This is the living room seating area. Oh, we got a little fridge over here, of course. Most people are only gonna stay here for a couple nights, so I think it's more than you need, really. In the summer, you open this up, and this is my favorite place, just to look out 
Get this unbelievable view, have the fresh air. We've just had this open the entire time, it's just yeah. been epic. So yeah, this is a little dining room area, seating area situation with the double bed over here. It's super, super comfortable. It's like a memory foam mattress. <sighs> full size. Yeah. I can lay it flat on it. A double size, no, a full size is smaller. Oh, it's a full <laughs> double bed. A full double or queen bed if you're in the States. Um, again, we woke up to this view and it was just the best thing ever to wake up to. And then the TV, it's quite large. So we actually haven't even watched yeah. the TV yet because we're yeah. in nature. And... Exactly, we've just been walking around outside. I guess, again, if it's winter if, or if it's raining out or something, if there's early sunsets and you might want to like curl up in front of the heater with a cup of tea and watch a movie. This would actually be so fun in Christmas too. Oh yeah. Having like a fun Christmas thing. Okay, so should we go upstairs? Yeah. Come with me for the big reveal. So first of all, I spent probably a week building these bunk beds. My dad helped me. So we've got, let's climb in. We've got the top bunk, which is a little bit more cozy, but I'm big as well, remember? Yeah. I could easily sleep here. It actually feels really like cozy. And again, most like of the time it'll be like a family with two kids staying here. So it's perfect for kids. So that's that. And then the bottom bunk as well. I this is like actually my favorite place to sleep because you've got this just 360 view on all sides. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. Yeah. We'll have a little reading light, mm -hmm. and places to charge phones. The thing with having so many windows is you get incredible views, but then it also becomes a little bit like a greenhouse. So, this is the exact same fan as we've got in our van. And you can either choose it to suck the air out, so the hot air obviously rises and sucks out, or you can push cool air in, but it makes a big difference in here. And listen mm -hmm. how quiet it is. What we'd like to do is get a chest with some games and some fun stuff for the kids, and also a rug, which mm -hmm. I think will make it a bit cozier. Especially for winter, yeah. But like Raya said, if you've got any other cool ideas, we're not gonna do any major new renovations on the bus, but if it's just like little details we can add just to make it even better, mm -hmm. we'd love suggestions. And then this is the outdoor area. This is the highlight. This is the highlight of the bus. If you know about this bus, you'll already know that we have a hot tub upstairs mm -hmm. on the top deck. But check this out. Ooh, it's also 40 degrees Celsius. Ooh, oh yeah, that's ready to go. And on a hot summer's day, you might not want to jump straight in the hot but tub. But the evenings get cool. But tonight it could get chilly. It's a little yeah. bit cooler down because we're nearer the coast. Mm -hmm. so also, hopefully, dinner, that since there's like no clouds right now, hopefully we can watch the stars tonight. Yeah, so after dinner, after the sunset, we're going to jump in the hot tub. We also have a dining option up here. Mm -hmm. So if it's raining or cold, there's a smaller dining table downstairs by the kitchen. But then check this out. So this is our folding dining table up here. So you can either, if there's just a couple staying, not a whole family, you can just open out half the table and mm -hmm. then it's easier to kind of walk past and stuff. And you just sit here, yeah. look out. We actually had our breakfast. Mm -hmm. on this table this morning. And we've got some really cute lights around for the evening. We'll put those on later. And then, for the whole family, you've got you can open up the table all the way. And then, this is perfect for eating and for board games, mm -hmm. which we're also gonna be playing later. <laughs> so how cool is that? Do you wanna tell them where we got both of these things? Yeah. We found these chairs and this table on Gumtree for 50 quid each, so this was 50 quid. And these are 50 quid. Which it's like Craigslist kind of in the evening. Yeah, it's like Craigslist. It's version. like second hand basically. Second hand, but this is a teak. Yeah, this is amazing. This is quality. a teak table, so this is gonna be amazing just keeping it outside. It's gonna And look how nice well. these are. They came with these cushions, super comfortable. I love them. Honestly, it's just perfect. So and then it's quite easy if you want the space up here, you just pack it away and then just tuck it on the side. Yeah, we wanted the option to put the table away if you want to like just ha have more space. If you, I don't know, if you have little kids that want to play or yeah. something. And we got all this safety railing as well. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously safety conscious. Oh yeah, the other reason we it'd be cool to move the table is if you wanted to do yoga in the morning. Oh yeah. Bring your yoga mat. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one's been here for hours. Like sometimes there'll be someone walking along the path, but most of the time it's like this. Yeah, this is a very secluded camping area. Obviously when we went up to play crazy golf, it was pretty hectic. It's a Friday, 
there's a bunch of kids, it's the summer holidays. It was still fun, but mm -hmm. down here is a very different vibe. This is like right on the edge mm -hmm. of the property. It's a secluded camping area. It's very peaceful. And very quiet. I love it. And this is, you've got this all to yourself. Now, there's something missing. You might be asking, hello, if I stay here, where can I shower or use the bathroom? So, follow me. So there's a little camping area over there. So these are some shared bathrooms with the campers and these are some of the nicest bathrooms. Come on in. I took a shower here this morning. I mean, look at this, it's huge. And the toilets, again, super clean, really nice. Yeah. Flushing toilets, Oh yeah. huge mirrors for doing your makeup. Just everything you need, really. For doing your makeup, yeah, because you do that all the time. <laughs> There you go, everything you need. Honestly, I couldn't be happier. Not only that we found this stunning place that already had these amazing bathrooms, like it already has all the activities there. I mean, I feel like it's kind of a no brainer. And because we wanna be spending more time in Hove, we have a lot of our friends there. We might rent a place there next summer for a couple months. The fact that we can just come up here, it's a 30 minute drive and we can just have this like quiet nature getaway. to just unwind and read a book. <sighs> I love it, I'm so happy. It's so good. Right, I think it's dinner time. Okay, the sun has just set and I was scrambling to try and get a few drone shots and then run around taking some photos for the Airbnb listing. I think we're gonna be on a bunch of different rental sites. Uh, I'll link them all below, obviously, and we'll remind you at the end of the video as well. But now, Raya's gonna start cooking. So it's really easy tonight because I already made pasta sauce last night and I just saved the leftovers. I'm gonna add some more tomato sauce though to like make it more runny again. And then if you guys haven't tried um, pasta made out of pea flour, this is 100% green pea flour, but it tastes exactly like pasta, but it's super high in protein. It's gluten-free if you are gluten intolerant and it's my favorite alternative to pasta. Honestly, I choose like lentil or pea pasta any day. And of course, nutritional yeast and Louis hot sauce. Woohoo! I love these taps because you can flick between pouring and shower. Okay, and then this is how you turn this on. And do the bottom one. There you go. The water's boiling. Whoa. Oh, hold on. The camera just went steamy. Looking good. We're almost there. Wait, what's in here? Zucchini, mushrooms, peppers, onion, garlic. Simple. The sun has just set. Can't wait to jump in the hot tub. It is actually definitely cooling off. It yeah. was really hot earlier, but it gets chilly in the evenings. It is time to get in the hot tub. I'm very excited. I cannot even remember the last time I got in a hot tub. Oh, that's very hot. Is it warm? <laughs> oh, it's beyond warm. <sighs> wow. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, that is piping hot. Oh, it's so good. Ooh. Oh, it's actually padded at the bottom as well. Yeah, like, really, really nice. padded. It's super comfy. We are out of the hot tub. It was glorious. I could have stayed in all night, yeah. <laughs> but then I am a hot tub addict. We are now all cozy in bed. We're about to watch our show. This is us. Best show of all time. Our favorite show. Yeah. morning we have just got up we had an amazing night's sleep oh my gosh first of all so quiet we were saying it almost felt like there was like ringing in our ears because we're not used to basically no sound it was yeah. amazing so like no background road noise yeah. no planes flying overhead it was just 
peaceful. Yeah. And then again this morning, just opening up the curtain to that incredible view. We opened up the like window flap thing and oh, it was just amazing. And then I got my cup of tea and I sat on the bench over there by the pond and I just sat there for a bit and it was my perfect morning, I think. <laughs> Compared to living in our school bus, obviously a double-decker bus is even more spacious. Yeah. Because we often say like the school bus is the biggest, most spacious vehicle. Because <laughs> we compare it to the van. But this is like the next step up. Obviously yeah. you've got two floors and the bottom floor is higher so I can stand up fully downstairs. Mm -hmm. And the, like when you're sleeping in the bed, it just feels like a way more open mm. space while in the bus, it's kind of like you're in the back, it's kind of more closed off. So I think I really like that just the feeling of like openness and spaciousness for sure. But obviously if you were converting a double-decker bus to live on and travel in, it could be quite difficult because you've got to figure out bridge heights and all of that yeah. stuff. So it's cool that we've got this stationary yeah. as a living space, but uh, I lived out of a double-decker bus for maybe three years in my mid-20s. It, it didn't look like this. <laughs> it was, uh, no, it was more of a party bus, a boom bus. Uh, it was actually like the first set of daily vlogs I had on my channel almost yeah like 10 years ago uh, I was living in that but yeah it was difficult to park so that definitely wouldn't be advisable yeah I say the biggest con to a double-decker bus is the driving I think you need it do you need a different license as well in the UK because in the US you can have an RV mm -hmm. as long as it's classified as an RV you can drive it on a car license which is kind of crazy so <laughs> yeah. the school bus was classified as an RV so I could drive it without a special license but here anything over three and a half tons you need a license mm -hmm. so yeah I would say if you're tr planning to move around double-decker is obviously the most challenging out of the three options yeah. but if it's just parked in one place like this one is it's the best out of the three options mm. and I love this bus particularly because we've got the front of the top deck is inside mm -hmm. because the weather's not always like this in the UK, mm -hmm. believe it or not. And then the bottom back of the top floor is all decking outside. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to get some kind of awning or stuff when it's rainy and more mm -hmm. colder weather because then we can still use the hot tub. And mm -hmm. honestly, I feel like this is an all year round rental. I feel like this will yeah. be really cozy. Definitely. We were saying last night we could make it super cozy downstairs, even around winter and Christmas time. We could mm -hmm. have just like hot chocolate and cuddle up and watch TV and stuff. So mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, it's gonna be good vibes. Yeah, and I'm so excited that you guys can come stay on this because obviously that hasn't really been possible with any of the other vehicles that we've stayed in before. Mm -hmm. So if any of you do wanna come stay, we will leave all the links down below and it would just be so amazing to see photos of you enjoying not only the bus that Louis spent so long, like pouring his heart into, but also just like to see you enjoying this beautiful space, the nature and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be posting photos and more information on the Live the Adventure Instagram, so go and follow us there if you're not already, and we'll link all of the different rental links in the mm. description as well. And who knows, if this goes really well, maybe this could be the start of a multitude of really cool, fun vehicles that we have around the world that we rent out. Mm -hmm. Um, I yeah. would love to be able to rent out our school bus in Costa Rica yeah. once we have it all set up as well. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel for more adventures and we'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>